So today I'm just going to go over the formation of anti-Markovnikov halo alkane from alkenes. So when we were trying to form halo alkane from alkenes, right, and now I'm talking about the Markovnikov product, the bromine would be added in this position, the secondary carbon, instead of the primary carbon. So for that reaction, we just use HBr. But when we were trying to add the bromine to the primary position, which is the anti-Markovnikov product, we have to use HBr in conjunction with peroxide. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to go through the mechanism right now. So the first step of this mechanism is the dissociation of peroxide into radicals. So what we do is we have ROOR, right? <clears throat> and we use heat. And the bond would break, it's a homeolytic cleavage. And we'll end up with a radical. After we get the radical, this radical is going to attack an HBr molecule. And radical would attack this and form another radical. And what happens is <clears throat> this radical right here would abstract the H and at the same time will form a bromine radical. So we'll end up with an alcohol. and the bromine radical. After we get the bromine radical, this will go after the alkene. And obviously it would be added in the primary position instead of the secondary carbon, right? So this bond would break and the bromine would be attached to this carbon right here and the other electron would go to this carbon, the secondary carbon. And we'll end up with another radical, bromine radical. And the radical on the secondary carbon would go after another molecule of HBr. And obviously it's going to, uh, to abstract a hydrogen, right? So same thing these fish hooker arrows and <clears throat> this carbon abstracts the hydrogen and we have to form another radical and that would be the bromine radical and that's our product right here the anti-Markovnikov halo alkane with another bromine radical so this is basically the formation of anti-Markovnikov halo alkane from alkenes and good luck on your exam guys